Hello, my name is Irena Ivanyuk. I am medical director of this children's hospital, Hospital of St. Nicholas. Since uh, the war came to our country, uh, really every city, every Ukrainian uh, became to do everything they could uh, to hold the defense. For now, Lviv uh, became one of the safest places in Ukraine and uh, we receive refugees from every corner of our country. And what is uh, very much important, uh, we maintain our medical front. Our Lviv First Medical Union receives up to a thousand wounded every month of the war. But the most difficult thing for us is when we meet children at the station. Without arms and legs, with severe burns, with life-threatening debris of the body, with lost memory, without documents and no relatives who would remain with them. The stories of these children are really heartbreaking. Vinnitsa. This is Roma. He is seven years old. On July 14th, he was supposed to see a doctor in the Neuromat clinic. But he lost his mother because of the impact of a Russian missile on the office center. And now Romchik has 45% burns of his body. The limbs and especially the face were severely burned. The child is in a coma. Kramatorsk. I remember well the day when Natalia and her children were brought to us in May. On April 8, at the railway station in Kramatorsk, the Russians fired heavy weapons and hit civilians who were waiting for an evacuation train. Natalia lost her leg and her 11-year-old daughter lost two. We have already received 20 wounded children that day at the station. Vugladar. Veronica's family hid from the shelling in the shelter of the house. A Russian tank targeted just in the basement of a residential building. Her entire family died, covering the 10-year-old girl with themselves at the last moment. Grandma, uncle with his wife, dead. Mom died four years ago. She was left alone, with dangerous shell fragments in her skull without a family. Every day, every minute, every second we fight for their lives, supporting vital functions in intensive care department doing impossible things in operating rooms. We treat deep wounds and teach children to walk again. Our team is joined by doctors who, despite the burned house and occupied city, still come to the hospital and continue to do what they do best, save lives. And now we are asking for your help. We are asking not to leave us with this terrible war. Uh, if to tell the truth, we are learning to live with this catastrophe. Your support is really, really important and will help us to win and to survive during this terrible time. Thank you so much. We will win together. Slava Ukraini!